These are the devices just activated this week in two Stafford County high schools. They're called FlySense, as in fly on the wall. As this demo video shows, they're typically placed in bathrooms or locker rooms where they can detect vape smoke. Then through an app, an alert is sent to school administrators or security staff. They can then confront the student offender. James Stemple was a principal before he became Stafford School's Executive Director of Constituent Services. I said 21 years as a principal, this is probably one of the biggest problems I've seen uh, to, that we've had to deal with. But it's not just administrators and teachers worried about vaping. At a recent meeting, the school board's student representative sharing results of a survey in which vaping emerged as the number one concern. Stemple says vaping jeopardizes student health and disrupts instruction. It's an addictive problem. The kids need to leave class to hit their vape. Or, uh, Julie, we've had kids in class trying to vape in class. Demand for the vape detectors on the rise. The CEO of one company that makes them says after several months of use, many school districts see results. And typically we will find an 85% to 90% reduction on vaping on campus. The first day the detectors were activated this week in Stafford, there were five vape seizures. And at Colonial Forge High School, one student, a repeat offender, was charged with the misdemeanor for having a vape pen with THC. Most students who are caught will face suspensions. Right now, Stafford administrators view this as a trial period to see if the detectors curb vaping. That's the hope, that it would be a deterrent to the behavior. One thing the detectors have already done underscored the scope of the problem. The challenge right now, keeping up with all the alerts they're getting.